maybe. Hey dog out. Uh, your placement's going. We are in diamond uh, plat two and five wins, one loss at the moment. Okay, against another bard. Hmm. Kind of want to take something that can keep up with the mobility. Oh, please don't play Vayne. Part of me kind of wants to play Lux though, for some reason. Okay. Yeah, that sort of solidified it. Him pit hovering in that Caitlyn for a split second made me go Lux. So Lux can set up bindings nicely for the Caitlyn. We won't be able to roam as much though. Um, I would have had to take something like Leona. Or Nautilus. Or... That's about it, really. Yeah, let's say a couple of champions there I'm prepared to properly roam with, I think. Anyway, we might be able to move out lane. Caitlyn can usually handle like 2v1 situations, but the Bard can, if she does get caught out by the Bard ulti at like quite high range, maybe she might die still. We'll see. Alright, we'll take an airy build here. And don't worry guys, we're not going to go DPS Lux. We're going to be going Athens and Holy Grail, Ardent Senza into Redemption. Maybe a Death Cat if the game goes on for 50 minutes. Right chat, now I'm going to ask you the guys the most important question of the day. What is your favourite colour? Because we're going to be mixing it up here in game. Blue. A couple of blacks. I mean, we can get Mystic. That's sort of like purpley black. Purple, purple, ice blue. I mean, we've got a lot of emo people, it seems like, in chat. So we can maybe do like Mystic or something. <laughs> I gotta remember the. What is the combo for Mystic? You know, I could go the complete opposite end and go Fairy. It's that like Crystal Lux, isn't it? Magma, please. Oh, you do sound quite desperate for Magma. Fairies, Earth, and Air. Okay. So what's uh? So is it? Must be. What's the emo one? Nature plus water. Is that's fairy, isn't it? Or is that I don't even know. I wish it would be easier to know the combinations on Heralty, like in game. Tomorrow is a twinkle, but today is a Try an element you've problem. least picked. As a frequent Ooh. shopper, shouldn't I receive a discount? I guess we could do like nature and then I don't know. I'll close my eyes and choose one at random. How about that? Water plus fire equals darkness. Okay. Oh, it's the uh, Omni Stone build that a couple of you guys have been going on about. I'm going to try that for a video at some point. That actually got buffed this patch as well, uh, both for ranged and melee. I think it was reduced by an extra second. Something like that, at least, anyway. I'd be very curious to see this. The elements are all at my disposal. So it's a Kai, it's a Bard. A lot of burst damage there if you get caught by a stun. She didn't go Caitlyn. We're too busy, too busy talking about elements and things. Didn't even notice the uh, the bamboozle switch there from Zaya, from Caitlyn to Zaya. It's still fine though. I mean, we can set up the, her feathers properly in regards to it. Like if I bind, bind, she can do uh, Q, Auto, E, but how dare she? How dare she mess up my draft, my perfect draft. But it's fine, I guess. I'm not going to dominate the lane as much then without the Caitlyn. I'm not sure if Zyra actually got the XP though. They did the old uh, deny a minion trick. The path is lit. 
Oh, it's a relic shield bard. So he wouldn't have the bonus man mana regen. Getting out poke turn because we don't have the E yet on um, on the Zaya. A couple CS behind. That's not too bad at the moment. Barn's got electrocute now on his uh, Omni Stone. Light is but one of many paths. <sighs> so I just missed a kind of minion. Gotcha. I did get the heal there, but. They used heal too. Spicy. Knowledge illuminates the true path. Yeah, I'm gonna have to play pretty defensively here. Bard is going oom. Not good news, Sias getting first bud. He's meant to be quite weak early. Double kill for him though. Oh dear, is that going to be a triple kill? Not quite, good. Bard's coming mid. Okay, they're fine. Good cleanup. Surprised Zaya was wanting to push this in so hard. I think we could have just froze the lane a little bit here. Bard's mid still. Brilliance is a beacon. Am I bad for missing that binding, if I'm gonna be honest? Did Red should just be watching top? Uh mid even, should I say? A candle in the dark, a beacon to the world. She's missing a lot of CS. Oh, no! We can get another tower placing here. Kindred's nearby. The flash was a little oof, but we did get a lot of uh, stuff overall, so it wasn't too bad, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Need one of these tomes. Yeah. So Zaya missed a lot of CS, a little bit of XP as well. Bard roamed, he did get a kill on the roam. And also, out of that, Silas did pick up a couple of kills. I'll lead the way to victory. That's, yeah, Silas is meant to be weaker early, not be picking up double kills. It's like a cast and basically getting two kills early before he even hits six. It's um, not cool. Not too bad. I took a little bit of damage for that trade. So I've said he's died again then. Would like level five. Not ready to make a full like a full commitment here. Bard could easily just tunnel through that wall. Where there is 
Nice harassment there. So the thing is with Omnistone, it's every time he gets Predator it uh, and he uses it, I think it's Predator, no it's Dark Harvest, when he uses Dark Harvest it will augment all the other keystones that he gets, but all the keystones he gets, he's got Dark Harvest now, so if he gets to use that then he'll um, be a bit stronger on the other, on the his keystones. Okay. Oh, I got to our aggro and I'm dead. Yeah, like, <laughs> this is way too deep. We might actually lose four people here. Bard's got all two. Yeah. That was. Way too hard forced. Way too much. Oh, hey, boo. <laughs> you wanted to watch Bob Ross, but you ended up with me. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, yeah, that's a shame. That was a big throw. Sias picked up a lot of kills and stuff for that. That might be Infernal as well. It's up to, to Lee Sin to maybe steal that. TP and flash. This gets from bad to worse now, doesn't it? That could have gone better. Everyone's coming down bot side. Sai so has all two. It's a shame because top lane was going pretty well. Wukong did a good job there in order to get back in the game for himself. I'm still not even six. Oh, that actually connected. Uh. It's such a shame I don't have my ulti. Oh, for Christ's sake. Got my ulti now. Or at least we got a cleanup kill. This is pretty fun. Gonna freeze this. Get the of me. Apparently there's a ward in that brush up there, but I can't face check it. Big fight up here. Let's see if I can come up and maybe ulti. That might help. I'm gonna try and get a turret plating down here if we can. She gonna hold on me. Arson, such an ugly word. Thank you. Accurate, but ugly. I don't think we should look to tar dive if I'm honest. Let's just call it. Okay, I have to choose between getting closer to Athena and the Holy Grail or Titty Boots. I think we do Titty Boots. 
It's a shame we didn't get a little bit more gold for that assist, because otherwise that would be in Thieves and Holy Grail, but I think I would rather have the movement speed if I can't complete Athenes. Honestly, the game feels pretty close. Um, their late game's probably better, though, with the Kaiser and the, uh, the Silas. But we'll, we'll see. Nice. Nice root follow up. Can't get in range. Silas is nearby too. Yeah, they're looking to tunnel through. Silas is here? Yeah, yeah. Bardol as well. That's just. Uh oh. Nice. Nice use of the uh of the kindred all. Really nice played by Zaya. Silas is there. Zaya did such a good job there if you guys missed that. She managed to walk into the kindred ult and then heal at the exact time the heal came through from the kindred ult as well. Genuinely impressed. There's an ocean drake spawning, I need to be there. It's such a weird Lee Sin skin. What is that skin? Nightbringer Lee Sin Prestige Edition? It looks so weird. I don't think I've ever seen it. I need to go back in. Tart playthings are off now. I need to try to get the mid and see if I can wave clear it. Otherwise, I might just go straight for the turret. So, yeah. Silas and Kindred are the main people in the team that I've fed. Mm. Wukong's getting away with a lot of free farm. The movement on the map for us has been pretty bad, if I'm honest. Yeah, there's no reason to give it that top turret like that. Too hot to handle. I hit someone there with that binding, but I'm still pretty screwed. I wonder if Zai could have done a little bit of extra DPS there at least anyway, since the Bard and the ulti and Q were down and there wasn't any CC left. I think... Yeah, I don't know. Doesn't matter. I screwed up. I should have overextended. Shouldn't have gone for that ward. Thanks, Eve. I'll do that after this game. Wife's decided to eat salmon in here and it stinks. Or at least I think it's salmon. <laughs> yeah, thank you for bringing fish into my workplace. Thanks. <laughs> Draw. I 
if I lose this game, I'm going to blame the smells. It's not enough to get a kill, but it's enough to deter them from coming for the Herald now, though. Such a troll, I mean she's your wife. Well, not anymore. It's always nice having a support that can wave clear. Slows down the game a lot. Why is my character derping out so much about also hitting that ward? My shield got a lot of value there. We would cut. We oh Lee must have accidentally did the herald during that fight. What? Who did that? <laughs> Someone casted herald in the middle of that fight. Luckily, it wasn't cancelled by that Wukong or two. Can we get a Shelly to go in again? Oh, it kept Shelly alive. That's funny. Kendra tried to go for the kill on the on the Herald, but she actually ended up keeping it alive with her ult. 14 seconds for Drake. Do we even have time for this? We're on the back foot here. They're going to go straight for it. I can't even recall. It's a good start. I kept my water alive as well. Stunning as much as possible for my team to actually get here. Nice binding there on a Silas. No Kindred ulti. Careful with the Wukong ulti, Bard ult used. We got the Drake. Looking at the Kaiser at the moment. Just one binding there. Oh my god, that actually happened. Wasn't expecting the Kaiser to have flash. Nice double kill. <sighs> what a really weird series of events there. Why did we bail like that? It was just one dude TPing into three. I like what? I really feel like we could have just killed him then. He did use flash and TP, but like, why are three of us scared of one? I don't. Okay. Trying to live up to the lore, I guess. I think that was probably what it was. Oh well. Um, this is a bit of calm now. All right, I need Arlen Sensor. Yeah, I agree. That definitely could have been a bit better. Uh, there's no TP on our team. We've got Camille quite deep in bot side. Are you sure about this? Double Camille. Oh, oh you absolute pleb. Oh, or am I the pleb? I actually did land that binding there, but... Uh, come on. All right. Let's not screw up anymore. That's going to leave Baron open. Camille doesn't even have TP and she's up in 15 seconds. Silas so is getting tier 2 bot for free because we can't defend both. Ooh. Kind of surprised that Kindred ult came off. I need to go bot to wave clear. That's Camille got it. Let's get back out there. 
some really weird like series of events like that Bardol, for example, mitigating the uh, the Zaya feathers there. They still have a jungler, but Kindred's low. Oh no. Hmm. Everyone keeps running into Silas and dying. Yeah, we gotta stop dying randomly like that. Note to self-ban Silas. I mean, the problem here is that Silas picked up two kills super early, so he managed to get, like, a going a little bit. But I think a lot of those deaths, I mean, like, the Camille dying while they went against the Silas, like, hardcore chasing him down and actually just dying anyway, do you know what I mean? Like, a lot of unnecessary get deaths this game. I can get Ardent Sensor now. Gold is one element everyone respects. There's another Cloud Drake in one minute. Do you like Silas has been buffed on after? I haven't really seen enough of him. Honestly, I think he wasn't playable anyway. Oh man. Okay, that hurts. Got an ocean drake that can help me out a little bit here, but... Okay. Oh my god, okay. Is that one ability on Silas? We did get a uh, bot turret. Cloud drake in 30 seconds. We have decent vision. That's hard and sends on everyone. Got him. Bardo missed. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! I was thinking about flashing there as well. Camille's still bot. It's another kill for our team. Baron didn't reset properly. Bard had the flash. They're all way too low HP though. Camille's still getting bot. That is inhib. Should have just flashed. Didn't think that would get stunned there from one us. It's a shame Diana's TP is not up. They do get Baron, but we got bot. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, they did do it, though. <laughs> what the hell is that damage? Nice, dude. Sorry, right, support's got it. I am the best. I am so smart. SMRT. Let's get this drink. Super smart. There's fire in my veins, but my heart is hard as stone. Push this in a little bit. They got Baron buff. Give us a mid pry. So I need one more Drake. Twenty percent CDR on my ulti, which is pretty cool. Once I get a forbidden idol, idol, I'll have um, fifty percent CDR overall on my ult. Which should be pretty cool. Uh, 
amazed at how hardcore that. But oh. Okay. This is weird. They've got the control in that brush as well, so they're full control. But that, that, uh, the Camille needs to stop kind of like trying to do fights like that though. I do have Baron though, so we are kind of wasting it. At least if we don't die. But we've got to reset now. Okay, Forbidden Idol. We'll buy Redemption. I'll buy... I don't think I've got enough for actual Redemption at the moment. Yeah, so I'll buy some Control Woods. That's my ult CDR. 33-6. Ends. <laughs> Weird champ. I wield what forges mounted. Level 16 on that Silas. Quite a long game this one. Gathering Storm kicking in for 30 minutes soon. That's gonna be really nice. Level 13 for Max Out Shield. Lovely. Wow. <laughs> they will make you a trap. Okay. It's gonna be like that, is it? Slice has a Zonya still. I accident don't ask. I accidentally used. That Lee Sin kick there on me was not cool. Oh my god, he's just cleaning up. I thought Diana was going to go in and try and help me turn it around, but... Nope. He just does so much damage, it's ridiculous. we won one dragon away from the, uh, the Cloud Soul though. Camille's here. Nice. 55 seconds for him to respawn. He has probably got TP. But it's enough for us to set up either for Cloud or for Baron. I need to buy another control ward. Oh yeah, you've always needed execution as Rudy against the silence. We only got one Grievous Wounds on our team, and that's the the, uh, the Zion. I might have to pick up Umbrella Numbercon as my, my final item if we get there, rather than a death count, which would be a shame. Nice kill. Okay, so we're already at the... Uh, The cloud. We've got a ward at Baron to see if they try and cheese that through as a trade. This will die really quickly. They're doing the Baron. I might have to try and steal that. I'm going to use Redemption for Vision. Got it. For a second, I thought I had it. But that's two dead. Silas is still alive, though. What is this chase? 
Oh god, the Sire's day. Hmm. Just get the objectives. You can't defend three towers at once. I'm dead. They got top though. Good. Let's get out of there now. It's just Sias is barren, I think, now. Yeah, it is. I'll have to keep buying control woods. <laughs> I think it's just better if I just buy a potion. So the thing is about potion is um, it doesn't actually kick in until you spawn. So if you buy it when you're dead, the three minute timer isn't actually going down. Because I know some people wait until like one second until they're respawning in, but it actually factors it in. You can see there the timer's not even going down until I spawn. Now the time is ticking. Okay, um, just go down bot lane. Just zoomed in. Oh yeah, for the the potion blue effect. Yeah, I'm gonna go safe, but I'm gonna go all the way down bot lane. Leeson's really jungling. <laughs> Come on, guys. Maybe they think Kindred's at the... Ugh. So that Silas is down here. He's the only one with the Baron buff. Oh, you're so lucky that didn't quite reach. That Bard stun connected though. I've got a Fiends. Kind of lucky the Sires didn't realize that the... They didn't die? Redemption kill, please. Oh, got him! Fire Redemption. The Bard. It's a shame I didn't actually get to see it. Ooh. Put the stopwatch out. Is that bot in here that we should probably be taking first? So beautiful, they forget to run. <laughs> yeah, get lost with that scaling, dude. I hate it when he uh, steals stuff off support. Even like Nami ult would do a crap ton of damage from Silas. Are we not? Going for this third in here? Really? They defended it? Okay. Patience is not one of my virtues. Can't really go for that ward. I'm worried that Zai's gonna get caught here. Is he actually going to tunnel through here again? The team's fallen back. How's this game not over yet? My potion's going to run out soon. This game's gone on for way too long. So is actually going to recall. Their inhibs are going to respawn shortly. We're at a stage now that where one team fight is a win for either team. It's nice that we've got three Cloud Drakes and Dragon Soul, but uh, yeah, Elder is still a factor. And Silas is kind of like the only problem in their team, but it's... It's enough. One man... Oh, I mean... Pretty much like in the trailer as well. <laughs> Bed 
<laughs> he was basically like 1v5. It took a giant Galio summon to maybe stop him. We didn't even see if it actually did stop him or not. Got him. Got him. Oh, I'm MVP. Don't die. Shield's gone to Zaya. Zaya's is dead. Oof. Nice. GG. That was a good, good game. Close. Only because of the Silas though, but it was still a tight game with low margin of error. Well, honor the Zaya. She did a really nice... I'm still actually impressed of that and play that she did bot side, um, where she managed to walk in back into the Kindred ulti. And then she stayed alive. I think she stayed alive at least anyway, but that was a huge play on bot side. Whoa, look at the weird damage meters there. Two... People on both teams doing a lot of damage, and then it's <laughs> then it's like the rest are just trying to compete between each other. You want me to look at the e healing ally healing? That's from Kindred all too. Three point three k from um, Athens and Holy Grail. It's okay. I'm thinking that healing damage overall might be skewed a little bit by. The Ocean Drake. I'm not sure if that counts as ally healing, uh, as in total healing done. 